More fallout from an exclusive I-Team investigation of a now controversial traffic stop seen on this police body camera video. The head of Jacksonville's police union is now accusing two city council members of abuse of power and flatly denies that one of the council members was pulled over because he is black. There is no evidence of racial profiling like Councilwoman Brown is claiming. Steve Zona also calls allegations of racial profiling made by Councilwoman Katrina Brown, quote, disgusting. This all stems from a traffic stop a week ago today, recorded on video with a police body camera, video obtained exclusively by the I-Team. Channel 4's Jim Piggott is joining us from our newsroom with all of today's developments. Jim. You know, I sat down today with the head of the police union and we watched this video. He watched it closely. He said he was disgusted by the actions of the councilwoman. Steve Zona had seen our reports on the body camera. Today, he had a chance to review the entire video. There is no evidence of racial profiling like Councilwoman Brown is claiming. Um, it's disgusting. It's beneath her position as a city council member. And I said it before, I'll say it again. Um, Tuesday night, she should stand up there uh, in her seat, grab that microphone, apologize to those police officers, and, and every man and woman that puts on a uniform here in Jacksonville for what she said. She's becoming part of the problem and not part of the solution here in Jacksonville. He wants the sheriff's office to take action and has filed a complaint with the integrity unit to look at the conduct of the two council members for what he says is an abuse of power. He also believes it should look into Councilman Reggie Gaffney for reporting stolen tags that were actually on his car. Watch as officers question Gaffney about that during the stop a week ago. The video's blurry because it was recorded off a monitor. Okay, so in March of last year? I don't know, I don't remember. Okay. I just told you that for the last time. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But that's my tag. Has your tag ever been missing or anything? I don't even remember what happened last year. I don't, honestly. If I, if I went in and reported, it probably was. It, it could have been another car. I got more than one car. Okay. okay. Council member Katrina Brown pulls up after the stop and from her car intercedes and accuses the officers of racial profiling. But between calls for service, we're required to stay busy and to be proactive. But I can tell you right now, all the guys on my squad are professional. It's, but that you make whatever calls you need to make, because I've already had one conversation with you and Ricky Brown, and I didn't like what you said that time. Because when I pulled into Harborview boat ramp, you turned straight face said to me, we all get scared when you white cops drive in here. No, I I, no. and it's one of the most bigoted things I ever heard. No, okay. Yeah, well, that's how you guys are talking to my officers. Well, I'm, I'm repeating a, a story. I'm repeating. Don't you talk to her like that. Okay, and I'm going to tell you, you're going to respect my officers, and you will not. And you will not talk to them. I deal with them tomorrow. We tried talking with both council members today. Brown was not home, and Gaffney was not available, although he did talk to us by phone on Friday. I was a city council person, just got out of meeting, and I felt like I was intimidated by two police coming up to me talking about I'm driving with a stolen car. I, I felt like a criminal at that time, that I had did something wrong, and I knew I, have, I haven't done anything wrong. Now, we also understand that there was a white and a black officer at that initial stop requested to see the tickets from Gaffney when that official video came out. And uh, we are working to do that at this point. We also have requested to see this official video from the Sheriff's Department. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, the Sheriff's Department right now isn't commenting on this, but they are conducting their own investigation. In fact, they're investigating how we actually obtain this video at this point. There are a lot more questions and a lot more answers to come from all of this. We're live in the newsroom, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.